Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Unique and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best way to shave to avoid ingrown hairs, razor burn, and razor bumps. So if that sounds like something that interests you, just keep on watching. For as long as I can remember, I have always struggled with ingrown hairs after shaving and waxing. I am naturally prone to ingrown hairs because my body hair tends to be dense and coarse and I have keratosis pilaris or strawberry legs, chicken skin, whatever you wanna call it, which basically means that I'm more prone to dead skin cells clogging up my hair follicles, thus leading to ingrown hairs. So no, waxing did not solve my issues. What did solve my issues is the shaving routine that I'm about to share with you guys today. It helped me go from 30 to 40 guaranteed ingrown hairs to now maybe one or two. I know. I know. The struggle was real. And it really comes down to these five essentials, which are your pre-shave prep, your razor, your shaving product, how you shave, and your post-shave treatment. So I'm gonna break down these five different key essentials and show you guys exactly what I do. So make sure that you watch this video to the end so that you can get all five tips, which is really going to change your shaving routine and the results that you're getting. Let's talk about your pre-shave prep. First and foremost, do not shave dry. I don't care if you are late and you already have your clothes on and you look down and realize that your legs are not shaven, do not shave dry. That is only going to exacerbate your issues. And not only is it horrible for your skin and can cause damage to your hair follicles, it is for sure, for sure, the quickest way to cut to nicks. And at that point, it's not worth it because now you're dabbing blood off of your leg. Wet your leg and let's go. The best thing that I found is that I hop in the shower, I go ahead and let the warm water soften my skin or the area that I'm going to be shaving as I shower before even thinking about grabbing my razor. Now also, you need to exfoliate before shaving. Exfoliation is gonna help you get rid of any of those dead skin cells and really help your razor really slide across the surface of your skin, which is going to be key to help prevent any kind of razor burn. And it frees up any hairs that might be caught, which is gonna give you a closer shave and then a smoother finish. My favorite product for the exfoliation step is by Fab Beauty. It is their KP Bump Eraser. I have shared this product with you guys before in my How to Treat KP and Strawberry Legs video. And it is wonderful because it merges physical and chemical exfoliation. And literally after I use it, my body is it's soft, it's smooth, it's supple, and ready for me to shave. So I am never without that product because I can tell the difference in my skin when I stop using it, so I don't, ever. Next is going to be your razor. You have to use a good quality razor, and good quality does not automatically equal expensive. I have two razors that I love and recommend to everyone. The first one is $10, and it's by Flamingo, and then the second one is $75, by We The People. Now don't balk on that $75 price tag. Yes, it is an upfront investment, but the replacement razors are $11 for 10 versus the cartridges for the Flamingo is eight for 16. And I've already replaced the handle, so you kinda just have to weigh your pros and cons. If your budget allows, I really do recommend this razor over this one, but I've gotten great results with both of them. The second thing you're going to need is some type of shaving product. I'm currently using We The People Sugar Coat, which is a shave gel to milk. And honestly, I recommend a shaving gel or oil over a foam because the shaving oil and gel lubricates your skin so effectively and again helps that razor slide across your skin without any effort. And sometimes with the foam, there can be air pockets, which you think you're shaving an area of your skin with foaming product on there, but actually there's none, so you're effectively just dry shaving. And we already talked about that. We already talked about that. And the great thing about using a shave gel or shaving oil is that you're also moisturizing your skin because A, you just exfoliated, now you're shaving. Now my shaving technique really depends on the razor that I'm using. So let's just start with the Flamingo. 
The Flamingo is wonderful because it has this flexible head. It really contours to your body as you're shaving it, which is really going to cut down on any nicks or razor burn. Now first you want to inspect the direction of your hair growth. The hair on my arm is growing in this direction, so instead of going against the grain of the hair, I'm actually going to shave side to side in short strokes. This is going to give me the best result as it gives me a really close shave with this particular kind of razor without irritating my hair follicles. Now I shave differently with the single blade razor from We The People. The way that this razor is designed, it, it has a weighted handle which allows you to shave without having to put any pressure on it you want a light hand with this razor. If you've ever seen a barber shave a ball head or a beard, you typically usually see them use that straight blade razor for the best results. We The People has basically taken that concept and has given us as consumers the ability to have that master barber technique and results in the comfort of our homes with a style of razor that we're already used to. Just like before, I'm going to look at the direction of the hair growth and this time instead of shaving side to side, I'm actually going to shave in the direction or in the grain of that hair. So again, I'm going to look at the direction of the hair growth and unlike with that five blade razor, I'm not going to shave side to side. I'm actually going to shave in the direction of the hair growth. What this is going to allow me to do is really to see how that hair is growing and this razor actually catches most of the hair while I'm shaving in the direction that it grows. This also tends to straighten out the hair and kind of get all of the hair going in the same direction and then I will go in the opposite direction on my second pass. Now as I told you guys before, I do not recommend this process when you're using a disposable razor like that five blade cartridge we were using earlier because razors with multiple blades tend to tug at the hair follicles. So if you're going in the opposite direction, just like I said before, you're going to have issues and you can damage that hair follicle. But when you're using a single blade razor like We The People, it's not going to tug at the hair and it does such a great job at giving you a close shade and a smooth finish in just one to two passes. So you don't have to worry about razor burn, you don't really have to worry about ingrown hairs. And my next step is really going to eliminate any fears. And that is going to be my post-shave treatment. The reason why I struggled for years with ingrown hairs is because I was not properly treating my skin after a shave and when I say after a shave I don't just mean directly after I mean days after the shave it actually was at one of my waxing appointments there after complaining to my waxer and asking her for tips because I was really struggling with ingrown hairs like the reason why I started waxing was because I heard it was going to help eliminate ingrown hairs. But after getting waxed multiple times, I was still struggling with ingrown hairs. So I asked this particular waxer if she had any tips on what I should be doing, and she recommended 10 Skin. And when she said 10 Skin, I literally was like, duh, girl. Duh. I mean, how many times have I seen my dad use 10 Skin or similar products after his shave? specifically for razor bumps and razor burn. And y'all, it seriously changed the game for me. After shaving, I apply the 10 skin to that area and I apply it every single night until the hair re-emerges. Now some other alternatives to 10 skin are We The People's PHA toner, which is a great toner if you have sensitive skin or you're looking for a milder or more gentler approach because all of these products are basically leave on forms of chemical exfoliation. Another good product is the Nola Skin Essentials Razor Bump Serum, which girl, I'm not even gonna lie, I cough every time I use it, even, even when I'm trying to hold my breath. <laughs> But that's a great alternative too. And also the 2% BHA toner from Polish Choice. Now I've had great success with all of these products, so you can't go wrong with any of them. Just choose which one do you think will suit you the best. And I'll make sure that I link all of them down below in the description box. What it really comes down to is consistency. I know here on YouTube that there's a lot of clickbait titles, videos that tell you you can get rid of razor bumps or ingrown hairs in one day. Listen, this is not that type of channel. I am going to keep it a buck with y'all 
all the time and I'm going to be honest it really comes down to your consistency so after you apply the toner you need to moisturize the area dry skin will only exacerbate your issues trust me I know so you need to keep that area hydrated and moisturized one of the products that I like to use for this step is the Waleda skin food it is such a wonderful moisturizer because not only is it packed full of ingredients meant to hydrate your skin it also doubles as an occlusive which you can think of as being like Vaseline so it's lotion and then Vaseline or the CeraVe healing ointment all in one step which I really like because after you've done exfoliated, shaved, done your toner, it's nice to just throw on one product and know I'm good to go. So to wrap up, you wanna make sure that you really soften your skin in the shower, exfoliate those dead dry skin cells away, get a good quality razor. If you're using a multi-blade razor, making sure that you are shaving side to side of the direction of the hair growth. If you're using a single blade razor that you're shaving with the grain of the hair and then against it, then you wanna make sure that you are following up with an aftercare product like 10 Skin, which you're going to use every single night until that hair re-emerges, and then moisturizing and locking that moisture in. I promise you that if you follow these steps and you stick with these essentials, that you will see a significant reduction in the amount of ingrown hairs that you're currently getting. Now, if you found value in this video, go ahead, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I drop a video just like like this one hit like if you like this video and I will see you all in the next one bye